Hey guys, another video on the Caddy. So today we're going to be stone chipping the lower portion of the engine bay, getting it ready for paint. So the plan is to mask off all of the area. First I'm going to seam seal just around some places where I removed some of the seam seal where it was rusting underneath. I didn't remove all of it, uh, like in some places like here, as it was fine, it wasn't rusting. So I've removed some in the lower portion here, so I'm just going to have to top it up with some seam sealer uh, and then get the stone chipping on the lower portion. So the plan is going to be from here all the way across the bottom, uh, moving along just to here. So the whole of the lower section is going to be stone chipped. Um, so I'm planning on doing Gravitex, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. I've just got it warming up inside, just so it, it sprays a little bit more freely. Um, I've read online that you should basically keep it a little bit warm. Some people put it in a bucket of warm water. Uh, I've just left it at room temperature because it is a bit chilly out here at the moment. So I've seam sealed around all of the edges that I needed to. So I'm just going to give it a quick mask, uh, the top half, um, and then get ready to use the Gravitex to just stone chip the bottom edge. This is the final product. So all of the underside had been stone chipped. I decided to do it from here. Um, same on the other side. Uh, and the finish is quite nice. I really like how it's the texture of it. So it should look good when the paint is on top of it. Um, the product that I used was Gravitex Plus um, with the stone chipping gun. So the next step that I'm gonna be doing is sanding the hunt down the whole of the engine bay, uh, then giving it the second coat of epoxy primer uh, and then getting on with the paint.
So the engine bay is done. Here's the final result. Um, I didn't record all of the parts um, as it got a little bit boring. Also, it would have been a bit repetitive for you guys to watch. So I thought, let me just finish it and I'll show you the results. So this is with two coats of lacquer uh, and base coat, of course. Uh, and I'm really happy with the results. It's really smooth and shiny, uh, which was the look I was going for. So yeah. The next step is going to be putting the engine in and um, also getting the steering rack put back in, uh, the brake lines and the fuel lines. I'm just waiting on some parts at the moment so when they do come I'll get on to it. Anyway, so if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe. Also don't forget to share to your friends. Thanks for watching.